Welcome to the DMZ. Today, we're looking to complete the final story mission for Redacted called Excavation, where we have to find and read Sniper's Notes, and then take three trackers from Albaga Fortress and place them in three special bunkers. We've also brought in a new MCPR Sniper build, which I can show you at the end. So let's get into it. Scariest spawn, I think, one of the scariest spawns of season three where I believe you're pinched between somebody being over here and somebody being over here, so we're just gonna kind of try to get out of here right away. Actually, you know what? I see a helicopter, and you guys know me and the helicopters. Gotta have them, so let's actually try to work towards that, which we might have to fight somebody for, um, being that, again, like I said, these, this spawn is pretty dangerous. I don't know the exact spot that somebody spawns this way. I just know that they do. I've spawned there uh, like once or twice myself, but not a whole lot. And then there's somebody that spawns near the water over there. And I believe both players have line of sight of me when I spawn. Oh. Ultra one, heads up. We're seeing a squad of operators yep. near your position. Are they going for the helicopter? Oh, they just might be. Oh no. I'm gonna wait here because their vehicle should be kind of driving by. And if you see this turn red, yeah, see their vehicle's pulling up, they're taking it. Alright. Well, no helicopter for us. Yeah, there they go. Helicopter taken. No worries. We'll just head on to our mission. So, in today's mission, we're looking to do excavation. So I'm first going to head over here to Al Bagra uh, Fortress and grab the items out of the dead drop, which should be a, yeah about right there. We'll work on getting that done. I'm also looking to kind of kit out uh, this SMG that I have. I just brought it in. It's not fully attached. I kind of want to build it out as a sniper support. I also have a unique MCPR here, you guys. This MCPR is different in which it actually has only five in the magazine. Now, the benefits to this particular magazine are I just get speed buffs like crazy. I get ADS, Sprint to fire, movement speed, reload speed. So overall just turns it into a faster acting sniper. Because what I'm kind of trying to do is make a one-shot sniper that goes head to head against the FJX. It is better than the FJX already, but I want it to be even better um, by adding all these speeds onto it. Making it just as good, but also really fast and like can quick scope, you know? So we're trying it out. I won't say that it's necessarily the best. It's definitely better for players. Yet the 10 round mag is better for AI and players combined, you know? So, that's kind of how we're going with this. Now, let's head over here. Why did it remove my ping? Interesting. Looks like we're just swimming our way, you guys. Swimming along. The Vaznek, by the way, is an amazing sniper support. Though I haven't gotten down the perfect sniper support build um, for me yet. I've tried it, tried quite a few. Um, I just don't know what one I like the most yet. I'm really trying to find the balance between it being like an SMG and it being like a mid-range um, weapon at the same time. Kind of trying to find the balance there. Okay, we're just gonna kind of loop around because uh, I don't really want to take a bunch of AI aggro. I don't have like a bunch of plates. Um, do we have a store? We do. I think I will work my way up there. Potentially. We're gonna keep we're gonna keep staying to the edge though for now. Just avoid PvE. No reason to like head inward yet. Up here I might. I don't see a bunch of AI right there. I'm lucky I didn't actually aggro them. Completing contracts Let's see, we'll come in right here. here. Just avoiding taking all that damage and making unnecessary noise. Sneaking up. There might be some AI right here. Oh, we're lucky there's not. Alright, so in that case, we're just going to go ahead and zip up right here. We're going to take control of this UAV tower, too. There could be players, so got to be careful, always. That is an AI helicopter, I believe. So it definitely could be players. Let's pop this. It could be players coming in right now. Maybe have the same mission as me by chance. Okay, I'm gonna start moving immediately. All right, so we're gonna sit down here, open our map, and see if anybody's moving faster than like what an AI would do, right? I'm not seeing anything out of normal, so 
Could have just been refueling AI um, over here since I arrived. So I think we're okay. What we need to do is we need to find some money, get some plates, and proceed forward with our mission. We're doing the final... This mission that we're doing is the final for... Um, redacted. Well, not the final, but the final that we have right now. It's the tier 3 story. And that's the most um, that we have access to at the moment, so... Hmm. I love that gun. That's also... I'm also really loving the MP7. The gun I'm really enjoying. Okay, can't open those. Pick the plate. Almost thought that was a gold bar. I got tricked. All right, we'll head back up. I have enough sellables right now, or valuables, to sell that should get me uh, at least a decent amount of starter plates here, especially with the laptop that we acquired. Right, things are looking good. Yeah, nothing's moving on the radar that looks suspicious. Unfortunately, um, as I'm sure some of you guys already know, on PC the comms vest is bugged and I can't tell what's AI and what's players. Um, but apparently uh, you console players can. Lucky for you guys, it's pretty amazing. They will eventually fix it for us. Oh wait, this one right there. That might be players. That might be players. I'm suspicious that those are players. I'm going to wait to see if, if it is players, they're going to hit these zips. I just noticed that they just appeared, and they just, I don't know, being cautious. They're just standing there, though. No, no, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Just got to be careful as a solo, you guys know. Okay, yeah, it's AI. Nothing we need to worry about. We're going to jump off over here. Again, just try not to aggro AI. That's kind of the goal. Kind of slip between those AI and those AI. Right? So I had my AI to the left and my AI to the right. Just kind of want to avoid as many as possible. Let's get in and out of this dead drop. Grab these trackers. All right. Now, we don't really... We just really are lacking in the vehicle department. I'll probably go for this. It's just that it kind of sucks. Um, it's not my favorite vehicle. You can get shot out of it pretty easy. I can't believe I missed. We're warming up, guys. We're warming up. Oof. Thought he was going to move to the right, not to the left. Oh. Okay. I was going to go in that building, but now that there's a reinforcement chopper coming, we're just going to get out of here. We don't want to lose all these plates. We're already going to lose a few. All right, over to the vehicle, and then our next stop is actually going to be all the way over here in Almazra City. We need to find some notes, so we'll work on that. Now, you can grab the notes before the trackers or the trackers before the notes. Whatever one you spawn closest to is what you should get first, and then go get the other. Um, and then I'll show you guys kind of what we have to do after that. Hmm, is there a better vehicle? There's an armored car. Oh, there's a helicopter. Look at that, you guys. Oh, that's beautiful. That is going to make this a lot easier. Honestly, if you have any mission as a solo that requires traveling around on Mazra, the chopper's your go-to. Always. I'm just taking off. There's a lot of AI there. I don't want to deal with it. Let's get out of here. How many plates was I able to get? A good chunk. All right. We're good enough. We're good. We got, I think, 12 plates, so we're all set. All right, so where we got to head to, you guys, is about right there. All right, so that's where our sniper's notes are going to be. We're going to head over there, grab our sniper notes, and then basically what we have to do is we have to take these three tracking devices and place them in specific positions throughout the map, and that's going to help us complete the final... Mission 4 Tier 3 Redacted, and we'll be getting Tiers 4 and 5 in Season 3 Reloaded, which is coming soon. So let's just make sure there's nobody up here. Alright, we're looking good. Alright, so with that, we're just going to go ahead and float down. Oh, I did just see a bullet cross my screen. I don't really know quite what direction that was. Oh, really? 
There's a team nearby somewhere. Okay. It'd be really unfortunate if they were right here doing the same thing. There we go. There's the notes. Alright, head back up. Just gotta get out of here. I don't know where this team is. Alright. So, there is actually... One of our locations is actually here in the parking garage, but we're not going to go there first. The reason why? Our comms vest went and told me that there are enemy operators nearby. So I'm going to go to the next drop and then kind of swing back to that, right? So our next one, as I'm sure some of you may have seen some people do, is going to be right under this bridge. But I'll go and show you that here. Hey, it's not telling me that there are any, any enemy operators nearby, so we're all good. We can go ahead and land our chopper in the water. For those of you who don't know a little trick, you actually can just land your chopper right in the water. And it'll be just fine. It's pretty nice. You can't leave it there for too long, though. Just keep that in mind. Oh, where's that prompt? There we go. I get it. There we go. All right. So you just kind of, kind of wiggle back and forth. If you guys have ever placed items for missions, you know what I'm talking about. All right. We need to fill up on gas, so we're going to go over here. Hopefully there's not really a bunch of AI around here. It'll shoot our chopper. Look, we're looking good. All right, I'm going to go in here and get a gas tank, just in case. Gas tank. Maybe there's some valuables in here. Might need it later for some plate money. Alright, everything else is looking good. Let's go ahead and climb back up. Ooh. Alright. Alright, we're all good. Now we're going to head to the next location. So we have one over here at Rohan. It's going to be underneath the bridge. Um, but in kind of a new spot you may not have been to yet. So I'm going to show you guys that here. Oh, you see that, actually? There's a team there calling in an LTV. They will probably shoot my chopper down if I go near there. So we're going to loop back, go back to Almazra City, and work on getting that other one that I had passed earlier. We're also probably going to go ahead and hit this. It's just going to be the most wise. Now, I just saw bullets fly. I think the team is somewhere in front of me. Yeah, see those shots right there? Okay, so we have a general... Oh, I see him climbing the roof, actually. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. I just heard shots. Oh, it's the AI. Okay. I don't think we have to worry. I think we're all right. I'm going to go ahead and park that there. And we're going to go down into our mission. I don't know if that was AI or what. Okay. So we're going to head down here. And I believe it's over here that we need to go. No, it's not here. Um, there's stairs that go down. Oh, I think it's right in front of me over here. All right. Yep, this is definitely it. So we're going to head down here. And we're going to get one of those marked spots in the wall. See this? Same type of thing. Maybe go back and forth because, I don't know, these are just buggy, you know? Okay, we're there. Seeing increased activity in the Perfect. And now we will head back to Rohan Oil for the final one. So yeah, guys, again, just keep that in mind. These doors right here. And you can come into this location from anywhere. You know, you can come from down there. Um, or from where I came from. I heard that kind of spooked me. I was like, is there a, like a... Stealth operator nearby. Right. Let me grab our chopper. Ooh, it's kind of damaged. Got to get it out of here. Woo! Let's get her out of there. All right, all right. Okay. Now we're going to go to our last destination over at Rohan Oil. Um, I would like to repair my chopper again. I really don't want to lose it. Um, I might go back to Tarek Village. Because there's no other nearby gas station. Yeah, we're going to head over to Tech Village real quick. Uh, just repair our chopper since uh, those AI blasted it quite a bit. We just know that this area is safe already. Because um, we had been here before. Oh, see that AI running around. 
I'm not getting anything on my comms vest, though, so I think we're okay. Oh, no. I was trying to get out of it in time before that happened. All right, well, lost our chopper, so on foot we go. I'm not going to run all the way back to grab that vehicle, so it is what it is. On foot we go. One tracking device left and we're all set. So no worries. You know, in the meantime, I'm actually going to go ahead and use the Vel um, until I'm able to upgrade that Vaznec. Because I like that this has a default of 40 in the clip. And it's super accurate even without any attachments, so pretty nice. Really solid SMG. Might be able to loot some stuff on the way there, because I would definitely like to go to the store. Again, upgrade my gun and some other things. Ooh, we'd be making a lot of noise, though. No, we're going to keep it stealthy. Just move on by. AI to my left, so I'm going to stay a little to the right. Just kind of weave in between these AI sometimes, you guys, as a solo. Staying quiet keeps you alive. It's a big deal. And there's... Sometimes, sometimes, as I'm sure all of you know, you'll get that one AI that just sees you from a mile away and kind of breaks your stealth. Hopefully, you know, maybe in Season 3 Reloaded they make some changes to that. See? There we go. You see that? That's what I'm talking about right there. Perfect example. And it's funny because you guys watched me walk past some AI today, um, and I was even closer, right? And they didn't aggro. So it is interesting how that aggro works. Um... It's it's inconsistent, and maybe in future updates it'll get a little bit more consistent, you know? It'd be kind of nice. I'm sure we'd all appreciate that. I'm gonna go ahead and get the UAV tower here. Keep myself safe and covered. You never know, these operators are thirsty out here, you guys. They like to get spicy. Especially when they're near their endgame missions, as you guys have seen from me. Your endgame missions are pretty PvP heavy. Grab some more plates. And let's see. I see AI over there. So again, just going to try to avoid them. Obviously, when we get down underneath, there's no avoiding them. I triggered one, but we're just going to ignore him and drop down in here. This is where we got to go. Looks like somebody might have already been through here. So that's kind of good. They cleared out AI. We're going to go right under here. You're going to have to go prone, crawl underneath. And then the last spot's going to be right here, you guys. So we go back and forth as you press the button. Okay. It just never wants to work quite right, does it? There we go. I think I got it. All right. Mission complete. Not bad. Pretty easy um, for a story mission. So nothing to really stress about, you guys. Um, yeah, definitely looks like somebody else came here. I wonder if they were actually at the parking garage, too, when I was there. But the sniper's notes had been taken, so... I don't know. Or it could have been another team just checking this area out as well. That's also a possibility. So, let's see. How much time do we have? We still have some time. Um, maybe we could go and grab this. It's not a bad idea. I do need a vehicle. Uh-oh. That one's probably going to get hit by the train. I would love to get this vehicle. Um, but let's go and clear some AI out here. Oh, I was like, where is this guy? <laughs> Didn't even see him. Yeah, we're looking to make some money because I want to upgrade my SMGs here. Um, we don't have that many slots. I'm going to abandon that. Awesome. Love to see it. We got a drill here. That's worth something. Oh, we got to make sure, by the way. Oh, I almost messed up. We got to read this sniper's note. All right. Find and read. So make sure you find and read. Even though I think it already had counted for me. So we're all good. We can throw it down now. I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. We just might be able to make a little bit of money off of this, so that's kind of the goal here. Oh, and it's right next to me? Incredible, actually. Wow, look at that, guys. Ooh, I love the Latchman, so absolutely love this gun. Okay, this is super close, so yeah, we can make a quick buck. Let's go ahead. I'm sure the third one won't be far. A plate box. You'd love to see that. I'm going to drop this key because I'm actually full on keys um, outside of the game. So, don't really need that. And we'll head over to our third. We're, ma we're making a little bit of money. It's useful. And then I think after that, we're going to we're gonna probably put, probably put a silencer on our gun. 
Uh, maybe another attachment, depending on how much money we have. And look to make a clean escape out of the map. I want to make this one nice and simple for you guys. So you guys have a good, clean guide on how to beat this mission. Okay, you yeah, have just a little bit more money. A little bit more money. All right. Let's work our way over to that store and vehicle. I think what we'll try to do, too, is we'll try to possibly do a hostage contract, depending. What key is that? Nah, not needed. Alright, how many plates do I have? We're good, because we also have a plate box. So, let's get to upgrading this thing. Let's go and put on... This one gives recoil control, so I love that. And this is going to make it more of that sniper support, so that's pretty good. The last thing I need, which if people weren't, would stop interrupting me, to take off this laser and put on a magazine. All right. We're looking good. Oh, did that vehicle... Okay, we're going to have to grab that vehicle. All right. This optic will do. It's not a bad optic. It's not my, like, preferred, but it's not bad. We're going to go ahead and throw this out. Actually, we're going to keep the plate box just in case um, I can make it out without using it. I'll save it for my next run. So I have enough plates at the moment, so no need to waste it. We have a silencer now, so that's going to help a ton. Yeah, some much better, much better uh, little sniper support now. Okay. Ah, oh, they saw me. I want to go for this, probably. Um, looking for that hostage rescue. Let's see. None there, none there, none there. Um, there is one down here. So that's a possibility. All right, let's go get the better car first. Because you don't know what we're going to encounter. All right. Mm, somebody's hitting the exfil over here. We could go hit the Al Safar Quarry exfil as well. That's just, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna try because there's two minutes left before gas moves, so it's it's not as likely that somebody's gonna try and use that exfil. Um, so let's go give it a shot. If we can't, you know, we'll retreat all the way down to here and do what we have to. So let's work on it. Run's not over till it's over, you know. Okay, now there's no green light. You can see the green smoke over there. That's kind of a good sign. Nobody's currently using it. I could try to take control of this UAV tower, but I don't think it'll... Did somebody shoot at me? I don't know. I wasn't actually paying attention at the time. Um, but I don't think that UAV tower will actually reach. I'm... Ah, tempted to pick it up anyway, honestly. Maybe it'll just scare other people away from here. Oh, is it doing that bug again? Oh, I thought it was doing the bug from earlier. I do have a sentry turret too, which could kind of help me secure the area for this exfil. Okay, the light's still not up. Nobody's called it in yet. That's good. Yeah, like I thought, it doesn't reach. That's a bit too far. We do have a vehicle though, so I can kind of drive around, you know, kind of keep myself protected while trying to do this exfil here. I haven't seen this exfil before either. This is a first. I have never seen this one. I kind of like its positioning. I think it's kind of cool. Just gonna go ahead and set this up right here. I don't know where people would really ideally come from, but I'm just gonna set it there. Hope for the best. And we'll just kind of drive around and wait for our exfil. Look for shots. Nothing's really moving on the radar. This is the area that I'm worried about someone coming from the south. If somebody's gonna come, it's gonna be from south, most likely. All right, it's already coming in. Things are looking good, things are looking good. Gotta be careful not to go out of bounds and kill yourself, by the way. Let me tell you, I've done it. I have done it. And it is very disappointing. This is a crazy exfil. Having its back right to the zone like that. It's a very interesting exfil, you guys. 
All right. Clean, successful run. Beautiful, beautiful. So I hope this helped you guys. For you guys that aren't like super PvP, you know, enthusiasts and aren't the best in it right now, um, I definitely advise trying to play around AI in the way that I did and using vehicles in the way that I did to keep yourself away from players and keep yourself quiet, right? So a couple things to take note of, helicopters are huge, as I say in my solo videos all the time. Number two, kind of like, you know, using cover and kind of like squeezing by AI and kind of keeping your distance so that you draw as little aggro as possible is the best thing to do here, you guys. I hope this helped you guys. I hope this helped you guys with completing your excavation mission. And next, even though I didn't get to use it much, I'm gonna show you this new one-shot sniper build. So for this one-shot sniper build, we have the Cronin Cheetah Grip with this tuning right here. We have the Corio Laz Laser with this tuning right here. We have the Neil Sound 90 for bullet velocity with this tuning right here. We have the 300 mag explosive rounds for the one shot capabilities with this tuning right here. And lastly, we have the five round magazine, which is going to give us movement speed, ADS speed, sprint to fire speed, and reload quickness. This makes this sniper perform better in PVP engagements, but not as well in PVE since you don't have 10 in the mag. So if you would like to remove that mag, feel free to then go back to the sniper and just go ahead and put the Cronin smooth bolt on. All right, so if you don't want the five round magazine, if you're worried about having this just work good in PVP and PVE, go ahead and do that. Hope you guys appreciated this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, helps the algorithm, helps me, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.